G'day guys, doing a quick video to show you what's changed in patch 2.21 for the Award at War mod. Basically this contains a lot of balance fixes from recent discussions I've had with people in the competitive, competitive community. A lot of these ideas uh, were around for quite a bit during the tournament, but I felt that I didn't want to implement them until uh, the ideas have uh, um, matured a bit and also had a bit more of a consensus because, yeah, obviously uh, there's lots of opinions in balance. And, yeah, during the tournament you had people saying something needed to be buffed and then the next day it needed to be nerfed. So lots of confusion on what they thought. So I felt like it needed to linger in their mind a bit more to know what uh, what's really, really true. I also want to just say it is not an easy task to balance this many nations. So it's a constant work in progress and the way it should be uh, as the game will constantly evolve with uh, the player's gameplay. And I'll keep updating this uh, till, uh, yeah, till people continue to play it. Um, also apologies for not uploading any gameplay videos recently, mainly because I just haven't had time and every time I had any spare time I have, I would I just basically spend it on modding. So uh, anyway, here's the changes quickly. So for that little rant, but uh, firstly, uh, snipers. I think this is uh, yeah a consensus that the gameplay is annoying. In the past, people said it wasn't. It was better than the 20 mil gameplay, but it seems like people don't like it now. So the snipers have increased to 30 MP, to 30 MP. That hopefully should stop the stop it being bought every single game. Um, it still has that limiter on it, so you only get two. Uh, the Also, the snipers, sorry, the nations with SP for their snipers will have um, a 120 seconds increase timer for the start by. So that will be the veteran sniper, the commander sniper for Italy, the tawny squad, white death, guard sniper. So it's quite a considerable nerf where timers do mean a lot in uh, team games or smaller games especially and even in 2v2 team games uh, <coughs> so um, one of the other uh, reasonings for these nerfs is because I pretty much asked what's the top four nations you'll bring to a 2v2 tournament um, Germany, Soviets, Hungary, British Commonwealth and Finland pretty much is everyone's uh, top four nearly everyone's nearly um, so yeah, this is the reasonings for some of these things. So anyway, uh, other things, BCOM, British Commonwealth, England, 4th tier, SES, Commando squads have increased in price to 360 MP from 315. That was greatly underpriced in default and hasn't been changed in the mod, but I've changed it now. Uh, Vickers VGO is so good and also the Piat is great. Um, German Panzer Grenadier squad is just minus 10 MP, just a little bit of a buff. British Commonwealth uh, weapon star reduction for King's African Rifle for the Rifleman. Uh, British Commonwealth and England Elite AT and AT Piats increased by 10 MP. All the 20 million placements for Axis, well, mostly, I think. Hungary, Germany, Japan, Italy decreased by 15 MP because the fire rate is much slower. Uh, British Commonwealth uh, removed the Dalar Rifle from the regular squads. Let's take a look. This will uh, yeah, definitely nerf them quite a bit in terms of openings and pretty much their their beef, their meat and meat and veggies. What? <laughs> Probably not the right analogy. Their uh, bricks and mortar um, units. So you got the squad leader, Stephen Smith, has a trench infield now. And it's not as good. It's pretty much a bit faster than normally infield and reload. Between shots, I mean, and it's got a 20 cartridge. It's not great. Yes, sir. Uh, and I've yeah, made it a bit cheaper by 5 MP, which isn't great, isn't much. I've also changed the assault squads to not have the EM grenade launcher, and instead, the skull squad leader has the Owen gun, which is not as good as the EM grenade launcher, in my opinion, by quite a bit. So they've been nerfed in that respect. Um, all the Piats for British Commonwealth and England have increased by 10 MP, so both of these AT infantries. Um, <coughs> uh, China increased the reload to 3 seconds from 1.5 seconds for the machine gunner. 
Um, so that, yeah, that's a bit of a weird one why China had a 1.5 second in the first place. So fix that. Uh, Germany added one more MG34 to the German use. So that's maybe a unit now that might be bought quite a bit, to be honest, uh, compared to the sniper. Uh, Char 2C, the big French SPG is 210 instead of 230. Um, just by the German use, you can see. They're just conscripts with Sky, so they're not great. Good weapons though. I guess you can always interchange them to other squads. But remember in the mod, you can't give it to an elite marksman, etc. The stars won't be as great. It doesn't have that uh, accuracy for all weaponry like in the default. Um, uh, yep, the Hun Hungary, 7 SP Veteran Taz, 44. Increase timer to 120 by 120. Start timer. So not as good as the Vet Tiger and the Panther. It, it, it is better, I mean, but the timer is longer, so it's not as good. Uh, German commander increased the price from 300 MP to from two, sorry, two 300 MP from 220 MP. Uh, all officers increased in price, uh, 340 to 320. You can see here anyway. Uh, I've removed the pack 40 and Nebel from Finland just to make them a bit less well rounded. To be honest, I feel Finland's not that great now. They're very specialist now and quite expensive. So, yep. I, I believe I, uh, yeah, don't, <laughs> I don't want to nerf them anymore. Um, pack 40 decreased price 20, pack 38 decreased price 10. Pretty much a lot of the AT guns. So English become 6 pounder M1, 5 MP reduction, USA M5, 20 MP reduction, Soviet set aside 3, 10 MP reduction, France, 2 limit imposed to 1 SP mortar buy, English become British Commonwealth 17 pounder, 25 MP reduction. So. Pretty much because howitzers and arty are a lot cheaper and viable in the mod. Those bigger type 80 guns aren't really useful. I may nerf it, I'll say buff it even more in the future, but that's just something to work, uh, to, to slowly work towards to see how it goes. So there it is guys. Uh, the, I guess the biggest one was the sniper that really, uh, is plaguing a lot of you guys gameplay apparently. So. I'll see you around, guys. I'll hopefully cast some games soon. Remember to send me replays. Uh, I don't play anymore, so you guys have to send me replays if you want me to cast. I only cast uh, what at Walmart, uh, by the way. I'm not really interested in default anymore. So I'll see you around, guys. Uh, next tournament uh, will come out. Will be out, I guess, when the alliances are in. Um, yeah. Also, I'm not sure about the rules to to make in this new tournament for nations, as in. They have to choose each team will have to choose a different nation each game. That's a little bit hard to a little bit hard to administer, uh, but it is possible, I think, especially with the size of the community. Uh, or we can set up alliances a different way. Like I can configure alliances to be uh, static for some nations. So let's say only only allow UK and USA together, and uh, only allow UK and China together. Only allow Germans and Italy together, so you can't have Italy and Finland, for example, or things like that. You can, you can, you can, you can <clears throat> create specific alliances that that users can choose from. So anyway, see you around, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll hopefully get some gameplay videos up soon.